So there's no doubt that we have some of the most exceptional secondary fine arts programs in Texas. But like any great system or structure, none of that is possible without a strong foundation. So tonight, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of elementary music and elementary art instruction in Galena Park ISD. Elementary music is an important part of the entire curriculum for a child, and music gives them an opportunity, the one place in school where there is no wrong answers. It is just creativity and exploration, and they get to find themselves. With the resources that we're giving our kids, they're able to do way more things than I was able to do as a kid, and it's only because we have people coming back and advocating for music. Students' first experience with music in, a, in an educational setting is so incredibly important. We all love music as human beings. There are no human beings that don't have some kind of affinity or connection to music in some way, as a listener, if not as a performer. And uh, in elementary is when we capture that enthusiasm and excitement and uh, just raw creativity. When I was in elementary, I joined choir because I was interested in music. It, really motivated, pushed me to my limits so I can start learning even more. But when I came to sixth grade, I picked my instrument and now I'm, I'm, a success, I'm a successful person. And right now I want to compete for a region and I'm in an area and I'm in top two for Win Ensemble. Well, the fundamentals of music uh, are the same from learning uh, basic rhythms and reading that kind of stuff, but basically also the idea of coming together and experiencing music through play, which is the way that our elementary lessons are, uh, are based. They experience it through play and then they're taught exactly what it is and the science of it and the name of it so that when they move into the secondary level, they can take those skills and advance them. And they associate music with fun and then when it's time to, hey, you, maybe you should join band or choir in middle school, they've already got that connection that these ensembles, these groups are going to be fun and that's something I want to do and be a part of. Miss Fuller was a really nice help. She always brought a smile on my face and she um, always um, sang really pretty and just seeing her really, really happy made me want to join choir and try it and now that I'm in middle school I love choir and it's something that I want to continue doing. I asked my fifth graders today why it's important to them, why they need it. And some of them said that for them it's like a home away from home. They also said they love to inspire others. And one other one that stuck out is for them to have the confidence through performances, through rodeo competitions, to be able to go out in life and talk to others one-on-one -on -one in a group setting or job interviews or just their parents and handle things in life like you would as an adult. Well, having taught at the elementary level at the beginning of my career, I can tell you that the basic concepts that they teach at the elementary level are imperative for us at the secondary level. If the kids aren't able to do basic rhythms and basic pitches that they learn in the elementary level, then we have to start from scratch. So having a program that is uh, well-placed and centered on students' performance is a very big deal for us. The training and expertise of uh, the elementary music school teachers here in Galena Park is, uh, is on a top level with anybody in the state of Texas. And uh, with Sam Harris's leadership uh, in that area uh, has an equal emphasis uh, from you know, kindergarten uh, to you know, here at the senior high school where we have all of these groups performing in so many different ways in, in choir and band. That all starts at the elementary school and the way that uh, those things are blended together uh, with the voice and the instruments and just the joy of music uh, and how that connects uh, so much to our humanity and, and you know, music's the same for everybody the same way and it's just a wonderful thing to take all the way from kindergarten until uh, we graduate these kids in the 12th grade. Not too long ago, I attended San Houston Elementary. Um, I actually live about two or three minutes down the road, a couple blocks away. Um, I have a lot of fond memories about San Houston Elementary. Memories on this very stage uh, through ceremonies or pep rallies or any other school activities that we used to have. I found great impact on that in my life because as I was developed through high school and middle school and through college, 
Music always had a special place in my heart, and that was thanks to the learning and the education that I got in elementary uh, through the music program and the art program. Um, so because of the great impact that Sam Houston Elementary Music and Art had on my life, I eventually decided to go to Stephen F. Austin State University for music education. And I am currently a student teacher or intern at Galena Park High School. And coming this January, I hope to take the position of assistant director at Galena Park High School. My name is Dan Ruby. I'm the head band director at North Shore Middle School, and I'm a proud Cimarron Colt. This was my music teacher, Ms. De Los Santos. Some of the greatest memories that I made during my elementary school years was being part of the district honor choir, uh, getting a chance to experience the symphony for the first time, taking trips to Kroger and being able to perform for the community. And now I'm back here in Galena Park ISD, encouraging students to find their love for music and build their creativity through music education. Hi, I'm Ezekiel Trevino and I am a pony here at North Shore Elementary. I started my career off at North Shore Elementary, went to North Shore Middle School and North Shore High School where I continued to cultivate my love for music. I continued to go on to college and study music so I can come back and give to my community what I received from them. I'm so happy that I'm able to be in this position to be able to teach at the school that I went to. Hello, I'm Lee Brown coming to you from Cloverleaf Learning Stairs where the mantra is dream big, live big. On the back wall we have pictures of world famous landmarks hoping to inspire our students to venture out from Cloverleaf and Galena Park's boundaries to see what the world has in store for them. As an educator, parent and resident of Galena Park, I am amazed by our district's fine arts programs. Our students find a passion for playing music, singing, acting, dancing and creating art pieces in our classrooms. One great example of this is when our fifth grade students get to see the Houston Symphony for their fine arts field trip. This symphony field trip exposed our students to a whole new world of culture and art. I'm personally so thankful to our fine arts department for helping our students dream big and live big. There's many reasons that art is very important at the elementary level. It allows kids the chance and the opportunity to think outside of the box. It gets them to focus and to slow down and also to tie in their culture with their creations, their masterpieces. It also gives them an opportunity to learn core subject matter such as math, reading, writing. Um, we can tie all of that into art. In art, it's up to the student what they do, and then that's where their unique creativity comes in, and it shows their unique self. With that freedom, it allows them to express themselves. Usually what stands out in, in cultures is the arts. So when you have art included in there, it shows uniqueness in certain traits of different cultures. This is my actual 25th year in Galena Park ISD and this is the only district I've been in. What I like about the arts is it gives the students a chance who don't excel maybe academically, but they are very creative. They get to shine in another aspect of education instead of just academics or athletics. I think education is really important as far as fine arts, as well as academics and athletics. And I think Galena Park is a great place to find that. When they're in elementary school, that's when they get this acquired taste for arts, when they fall in love with art. And so the teacher who's teaching it creates this kind of little seed that they plant. By the time that they get to me, um, come junior, senior year, they have flourished and some of those teachers don't get to see that seed come to fruition. I get to see it every time and I don't think they realize the importance that they made in that child's life. I would say elementary art, it's very uh, eye-opening, you know, because whenever I was young, I wasn't really confident on my art. I was just like, you know, it was more for like free expression. And I feel that's what art is, you know, you, you're able to fully express yourself. It's very important to introduce ideas to youngsters and let them know that they have the freedom to do what they want in art. They don't have to follow certain criteria or guidelines or rules because art is just freedom. 
I think the importance of elementary art class is to develop the child's mind in a creative sense. When I was younger, my art class was almost perfect. Um, it, when I would, I would make art in that class and take it home and my parents would be proud of me. I'd get that sort of encouragement that would boost me to do more art and because of that I, I grew up to become an artist. As a former student from Galena Park ISD and who also qualified as a low SES student, I have a deeper appreciation for the fine arts program here in our district. Fine Arts not only kept me wanting to go to school, but provided me with a deeper appreciation for the core subjects and with a much needed amount of self-discipline during these teenage years of mine. For most of our fourth graders at Pyburn Elementary, going to the Museum of Fine Arts each year provides them with an opportunity to get out of the neighborhood for the first time sometimes. And it's an invaluable experience for them because as, as my personal experience has been that I'm, I'm able to excel in core subjects. Uh, I was a second language learner. So that also helped me, having an appreciation for the fine arts, helped me develop my second language, uh, which was English. Hi, my name is Dr. Kimberly Martin, and I am standing in the music room at Pyburn Elementary, where I started my fine arts education. Since leaving Pyburn Elementary, I've used my education to support my two sons at two different high schools in their band programs. I've served as a fine arts administrator and now the proud principal of Galena Park High School. What I have learned through this journey is that Galena Park ISD fine arts teachers can help our students learn how to have a strong work ethic and how to enjoy the beauty and the world around them. While I didn't become a musician or an artist, I am so proud of all the work that our fine arts teachers pour into our students and our GPISD community. I think it's great that you got to hear from our students and teachers about the importance of elementary music and elementary art for all of our students in Galena Park ISD. In my 25 years as Fine Arts Director, two of the things I'm most proud of, one, are the partnerships that I developed with the Museum of Fine Arts and the Houston Symphony to allow all of our students to attend those two great institutions and inspire them in arts education. We are one of three school districts in Harris County that do that. The other thing is how we are growing and inspiring future music and art educators that look like Texas, that, that look like our kids, to continue the important work in teaching music, art, theater, and dance to students and continuing to inspire another generation to love and appreciate the arts.